details to our first story because a man was arrested for posting abuse during a live stream on TikTok. Now, this is a very interesting considering the keyboard warriors among us and how freely people can tend to post negativity online. A Sharjah man was arrested 24 hours after a woman complained he abused her in the comments of her TikTok live stream. Now, just to give a bit of background, live streaming is online streaming media simultaneously recorded and broadcast in real time. So right now we are in fact in a live stream. Uh, UAE police networks are simultaneously tacking cybercrime. Now, Sharjah police discussed a number of issues related to crimes of electronic fraud on the radio this week, and they basically talked about the number of ways fraudsters can attack a wide segment of society with different methods and how they can basically facilitate their criminal network uh, using either text messages, telephone calls, WhatsApps, emails, and of course, the internet. Uh, that is crazy. So after the live, the woman issued her complaint with charge of public prosecution and within 24 hours, he was arrested before he was replaced, uh, replaced on bail. According to Gulf News, people are reminded to use social media in a positive way. Cybercrime laws are seriously are taken seriously and extremely um, are taken extremely seriously and can lead to jail time and massive, massive fines. It's so interesting because I think um, we know how serious cybercrime is here in the UAE and in general people usually err on the side of caution. So you don't have the massive, I guess, hate that you see in other countries and I think that's what people quite like because the media, specifically in other countries, um, can be very hateful but you don't usually have, uh, in the UAE, you don't have kind of uh, public hate, right? Yeah. But things like live streams, um, because uh, I guess after the live, the comments can be gone, people are more free. And mm-hmm. I guess this, Matt, like I, we don't actually have the specific lines he used, but I think the word threaten was used. Um, he probably wasn't aware how much he was violating the law. But as Simran said, cybercrime laws here are so, so serious. And they can lead to actually up to 500k fines and years in prison. Um, that's a kind of like the higher scale of it. But uh, if you um, are defamatory towards someone online, if you are threatening towards someone online, you're breaking the law here. And I think this is a great story uh, to remind us of that. And also Sharjah Police um, speaking on the radio this week, kind of talking about all of the different ways uh, about different cybercrime as well. So it's just interesting. I feel like it, I feel it's absolutely great for such laws to be there for cybercrime because it really makes people think twice about trolling, uh, sharing hateful and negative comments online, just, you know, getting abusive generally. And these laws are put in place to protect people from that kind of negativity online, especially school kids and cyberbullying mm. in the recent years has increased so much within schools and, um, you know, like upper classes, like six, year six and onwards. So these things are great. And now with people making fake accounts, Finsta's and staying anonymous. Finsta's. Finsta is a, please explain to people. because Finsta. I actually didn't know what a Finsta was. That was a different version of Instagram, but it's a fake Instagram account. Uh-huh. Finsta that Shahir has a couple of. <laughs> Interesting. Shahir. Shahir is our producer who's usually here with us. But, um, but just in terms of the cybercrime, We, I believe, in the UAE are very lucky to have these laws because you've seen, let's say, for example, after the Euros, the racism that went out online and people were calling for the government to regulate social media platforms because of the sheer amount of negativity and hate that was going on online. We actually already have that in place here. Um, and it's the type of thing that who's who's following who in this case, which, yeah. which country is following the other, because actually as social media blossoms and grows and, be, and continues to be the massive beast that it is, there needs to be regulation and cybercrime and hate is one of the places that it needs to be. And you mentioned kids and stuff growing up. Like there, people like 13 year olds are, are going to have phones in their hands from the age of, yeah, from the age of 13. So yeah. do they, like what's regulating that? So this is one of the things that we're not seeing as much hate online thanks to these laws. And uh, we're seeing now with this story that the laws continue to be imposed.